I'm telling you, I need to make a heyday series or something. I can't put the game down long enough to even record anything else. Like, literally. Hey, I got soybeans coming up in nine minutes. Nine and a half minutes. So in nine and a half minutes, I'm gonna need you to remind me to go get these soybeans and plant some more, goddammit. I just spent all the fucking coin I got on my goddamn town. Now I ain't got no coin. I was sitting nice with like 300k coin, gold coin. But then I decided, hey, I wanna fancify this bitch up. I wanna make it into a whole bunch of nothing. And I made it into a whole bunch of something. It wasn't no nothing. Look, I ain't even got all my lights on, ready to record or anything else. Look at this. This is just a fucking fuck up. Big old fuck up. Anyways, what's good, YouTube? I'm going to you back again once again. Tonight, today, we are here for episode number 63 of our Pokemon Sword and Shield playthrough. We are in the middle of the, or I'm gonna make the wild guess and say we're towards the end of, no, there's too much shit that I still got questions about. We're in the middle of our Isle of Armor DLC playthrough. Uh, a lot of you guys are telling me that apparently this came out and was accessible at any point in time during the playthrough. So that makes sense while we're fighting level 60. Um, what's, what's his face? What's his face? Level 60, what's his face? What's the name of that goddamn Pokemon? Venipede. <laughs> Level 60 Venipedes. We're chilling out here in the middle of the grass because this is where I recorded. Oh, look. Speak of the devil. I was recording the top five. I had Anna Yuko out here showing her off. So we were out here just chilling. Look at that. Yo. Oh! Leave me the fuck alone, bitch. And that Yuko, stomp on that thing. Just squish it. I wonder how many Pokemon died because of that. Like, you know, you know that scorpion, uh, that scorpion, that scorpion ain't getting knocked out if Colossal steps on it. That motherfucker's getting squashed. Dead bug. Dead bug is dead. Anyways, we need to, if I'm not mistaken, go and get our cub food. I thought that was a train. We need to go and get our cub food. That's his name, not cub chew. Cub food. Um, and we're supposed to take him, take me there. I'm gonna go there. Get off the fucking bike. Oh my god. <clears throat> Become friendly with Cub Fu and show it to Master Mustard. Okay, so we have to take him to one of these four points. I'm gonna take him to the Pop Bottom Desert. Loop Lagoon? I don't even remember that. Loop Lagoon. I feel like I know what that is. No, I'm thinking of like this area right here. What is the Loop Lagoon? Can you even get into it from over here? You have to fly. No, you have to surf in. Wait, what the fuck is this? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Chill. Stepping stone CC. I remember that. But the loop lagoon? I don't remember going there. But I'm gonna take him to Pop Bottom Desert. Because fuck that. I don't know. take him anywhere else. Fuck that bullshit. Fuck that bullshit. We're not taking him anywhere else. Pop Bottom Desert is the best one. Best one, period. Best one, period. So we need to get him. I'm not getting rid of Anissa for Cub Fu. I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. Let's get, uh, Paul is our highest level. Paul is our highest level. So I think I'm going to swap Paul out. Excuse me, can we stop doing that? Am I clicking these buttons in the incorrect order? clicking the wrong button all together that's why <laughs> hey the nintendo controller i would never get used to i can play <laughs> you use the switch controller for years and years and years how many years have i played mario kart <clears throat> and i just i don't fucking know it it's just it's because this controller is backwards every other controller on planet earth is swapped and this one is just backwards so i can't do anything about that i will forever and always click the wrong button um uh, but let's look at this little cub foo we didn't check him out last time because there's no fucking PC in the other place. Um, Cub Fu, Inner Focus, Rock Smash, Leer, Endure, and Focus Energy. What a dick. Um, not gonna lie, he's kind of... Really cool. We'll say that. This is the internet, and we're not allowed to have opinions. <clears throat> that was top five. Fuck your opinion. <laughs> I mean, he's okay. He's not like anything that like really blows me away or, you know, I don't look at him and think like, holy shit, can't wait to have him on my team. But I think that the one Pokemon that I was asking about a couple months ago, I think Kung Fu evolves into him, but I'm pretty sure Kung Fu has two evolutions. So I don't know how to do 
shit. Apparently, Diggin' Paw is that dude. You guys are saying that we should... No, I'm not giving him shit. Fuck him. Not right now, at least. <laughs> but apparently, Diggin' Ma is a scam, and Diggin' Paw is the truth. So, we need to go and hit up Diggin' Paw. Wait, 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 wait. You know who I want to follow behind me? Oh, but you know, that's gonna be ass, because we have to put her at the start of the party. I would love to have Anissa following behind me. Oh, look at her! Why does it go so slow? I mean, I know you're a ghost, but do we have any Pokemon that can follow behind? Whoa, you weren't here last time. Hi there, Nappy. You gotta see the view from here. Come on, why don't you, you and Kung Fu enjoy the scenery together? Okay. Was this what I was supposed to do? Because I thought that the waypoint was like in the middle of the area. Yeah, you liking that? Ain't never seen no shit like this before, have you? You feel like you're getting more friendly with Cub Fu. Being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? Hell yeah, bro. Oh, it's running through my brain. What the fuck? What is this, a crustle? Blech. Not interested. Sorry. But are we missing... One Diglett in here? Diglett dig, Diglett dig, Diglett dig, Diglett dig, trio, trio, trio. I'm not gonna lie, I am gonna give. No, you know what? I'm gonna follow him behind me. Shine. Show me this big ass elephant. Yes. Yes. Oh, you walk so slowly. What the fuck? What? The no. But you know, Kaparaja is super fucking dope, though. Super fucking dope. I really like that Pokemon. I really do. I wish they had bigger tusks. Not gonna lie, but I still like Kaparaja. It's very cool. Very nice. Very nice. Um, okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I don't I keep clicking this button because in other Pokemon games, why is how you pull up the menu? Um, but I was gonna say, I want to check the Diglett thing, but... Okay, so you have to take him to each one. That's what I was about to say. Okay, so let's save the Loot Lagoon for last. Yeah, head on over there and see what's up. But I'm going to do a quick run through with these eagle eyes and see if we can't spot a Diglett in the dirt. Oh, look at the right eye. Fucking right eye. Oh, you're so cool. Oh, you're so cool. Look at both of them. It's cool as fuck. So cool. Look. Found his ass! <laughs> Giglet, take your ass back. Oh shit! There's one more! Oh, we're not done. Okay, wait, I thought we only were missing one. Santa Conda, hold up, chill up, chill up, chill out. Hold on. Hold your shit. Let me find this motherfucker real quick. <laughs> Excuse me. It's not a Diglet. Okay, so in my brain, I'm like portioning off different parts of the desert that like I've visited, I've swept. You know, I'm, ch I'm checking, I'm trying to make sure here. These other diglets, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't get the impression that we really tried with the other diglets, but when we came here for the first time, I don't know, it was just easy. Motherfuckers popped up, they was everywhere. And they said, hey, you only need two more. Okay. Um, I think that tunnel area, though, I think we got all the diglets out of there, though. Okay, I'm gonna go that way underneath the Braviary, but I wanna check this rock. I wanna check it, I wanna check it, I wanna check it, I wanna check it. Damn! A couple of to just bounce on top of you. <laughs> okay, under the Braviary. Pretty sure we checked that on our last pass through. I can double check it. See, it, it makes me nervous because I feel like this last one is just like in the desert. It's not by a bush or anything like that. It's just like in the dirt. And that's really hard to see. Just with the... Bastard. Listen, bitch. <laughs> There's a Marowak right next to the thick club. <laughs> 
Wait, I saw something over here. Out of the corner of my eye. Stardust. Bro, we gonna have so much money. That money, money. Yeah, yeah. I can hear Ivy downstairs crying already. Ivy, stay. Ivy, stay. Make it so that the only editing I have for this episode is to just split the episodes up. I don't want to have to edit out little girls screaming and hollering in the background. Okay, I don't fucking know where this Diglett's at. I probably passed by him, but he's not playing ball. I can honestly say I gave it a good effort. Oh, there's an item here, but there's a big old chump master on top of it. Bottle cap. Whoa! Big ass Volcarona! Fuck you want, dog? Fuck you want? How do you even get that? Like, is there a jump? This isn't an acro bike. How do you get the mods that are above? I don't think I've ever tried. <laughs> hey! That better not be the right horn! Fuck you, dog! I don't think I've, this entire time, I don't think I've ever actually tried to get a flying Pokemon that was above the ground. You just have to like, get it aggro to you, and then it swoops down to get you? Look, bitch. I fucking love you. Come here. Am I not worthy? Do I have to stand on the back of this? <laughs> How do you do- I don't- I don't fucking get it. If they explain this, I've forgotten, clearly. But Volcarona, you're dope. I know you guys are watching right now, just screaming and yelling at the top of your lungs. Oh my god. It's this button, Nappy, and you know that. Okay, Kapu, where you want to go next? <laughs> Stop with this goddamn fucking Wi-Fi menu. Fuck off. God damn. Challenge Road. See these towers? I haven't done these towers either. The Tower of Darkness and whatever the fuck that is. Tower of Waters? I don't know what that means. We haven't been to those yet. Whoa! Wrong button. Click the wrong button. Alright, Fields of Honor. We're gonna go, go get these first two. Whoa! This is not where I thought it was gonna drop us off at. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Um, okay. Brawler's K. Okay, I know where that is. I know where that is. <clears throat> it's like I knew the general direction, but how do we get there? That's the question. Alright, um. You got it. I trust you. You got it. You know what you're doing. Okay, so Brawler's Cove is where we're heading to first. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Unless you're a Diglett, I don't care. I do not care. And to be honest, little Mr. Diglett, what are you doing in here anyways? Oh. Interesting. I just saw something yellow showing there. I thought it was a mushroom or some shit. Alright. Get me out of here. Brawler's Cave! Hello! Hola! Look, I have a Pokemon that needs... Looking at, yeah, let's enjoy this scenery together. Mm. <sighs> mm. Love it. Yes, I can feel it getting stronger. It's almost time to go show Master Mustard how close we've gotten. Being with your Pokemon makes everyday scenery feel brighter and more colorful, don't you think? Yeah, especially that big ass one. Um, so we need to go north. Can we just go out this? No, we can't go out there. This will take me to the water, doesn't it? Or no, this one. Is it this one or the one upstairs that takes me to the tower? Mmm, the one up. 
upstairs takes me to the tower, but this takes me to the lowland. It's the other exit that takes me out to the water. The water! Where's all the water at? Damn, that's so much. God. Okay, give me all this shit. Whoa. Hey, like and rock. <laughs> Chill. Hi there, Nappy. You gotta see the view from here. Come on, why don't you and Kupfu enjoy the scenery together? Excellent. Yes, let's, let's gaze out. Let's look out. Really, the thing I'm most concerned about with Kupfu is the fact that he's level 10. Can we get him, like, level 7? Your friendship with Kung Fu getting even stronger. It's almost time to go show Master Mustard how close you've gotten. <clears throat> Brighter and more colorful, huh? No, you chill, you chill, you chill, you chill. Oh, so you never come up here before. That's all that's over here, just a den. What is that? Ah! Man, it was a Mien food before I could say, Oh, that's a Mien food. Hear these jackass come running at you. Excuse me. Level 60 man food. Really? You think you all that in a bag of potato chips because I'm a steel type? Let's get out of here. Can't stop me if you're in the stratosphere. Excuse me. Oh, uh, this feels like a dead lip. <laughs> I meant like this is a spot where Diglett could be at, you know? This feels like a Diglett spot. Oh, yeah, this feels like a Diglett. <laughs> and look! Boom! <laughs> Ooh, seven more Diglett on Challenge Road. Mm, yeah, this feels like a Diglett. <clears throat> Anyways. Anyway. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. I have to focus. Get back into this. I took this past weekend off. I don't know if you guys caught that or not. You know, there was nothing uploaded on the channel. Um, and I was kind of... I, I don't know. I felt 50-50 about it. Saturday morning, I woke up real early to um, take care of Genlock. But this past weekend was uh, Hector and mine or... What's the proper English for this? It was mine and Hector's. Hector and mine. I don't know. I don't know if that makes a difference. But anyways, it was our anniversary. It was our one year anniversary. So I figured, you know, I could sit here for five hours editing and recording and trying to get this Genlock episode up for the day. Or I could just take the day off. You know, we've had five weeks of it in a row now without fuck up. I was just going to take the day off and spend some time with him. And we did. This weekend was really, really great. We went to this dope Italian restaurant. How romantic. Mm, how romantic. Went to this Italian restaurant and I had swordfish. Arr, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know if I told the story about swordfish before, but I had swordfish once before. And you know, I can't fucking remember where. I honestly cannot remember where. Whoa. I've never been up here, so I don't know if she's gonna let me in. Maybe these towers are post-game for the story, for the DLC. Um, but anyways, it's a cheeky den back here. Uh, but I, the first time I had swordfish, I don't remember where it was, but it was really, really good. It was really, really good. <laughs> so the second time I had swordfish was at a dog track. <laughs> <laughs> I can hardly say it. <laughs> um, I don't remember the name of the place either, but it was like a casino dog track in Charleston, West Virginia. I was visiting family out there once, and I don't know, we went to the dog track. I don't remember the name of it. If there's anybody that's in West Virginia, I already know you know the name of it, because it's like the only dog track in the area. But they had like this newly renovated, like New Orleans themed restaurant. You know, it was like Mardi Gras and all this shit, and they had swordfish on the menu. So I thought, well, I had swordfish once before, and it was fucking great. And my like, <laughs> reminiscing oh he made noises anyways my reminiscing of like how good the swordfish was the first time kind of just i love that i fucking love that i can stay in here all day and do that but me like reminiscing about how good swordfish was the first time kind of overrode the thought process of like hey this is swordfish from a dog track lower your expectations 
Um, it wasn't terrible. I've never had bad swordfish, but the swordfish from the dog track so far out of the three times I've had swordfish, it was the worst one of the three. It was still good, but I love swordfish because it's like a cut of steak. Like, you know when you get like a fish fillet and it's kind of like flaky a little bit, you know, it comes off in pieces, you cut it, it's really soft. No, like cutting into swordfish is like cutting steak. It's a little softer than steak because it's still fish, but it's like, I don't know, this piece of swordfish I had this weekend, was probably like, like that. Everything on this side of the iPad. It was like that big, all of this. And it was so fucking good. It was such a good piece of swordfish. But this place we went to, they didn't season it with anything. And you know, like, because of COVID, you have the menu on your phone. So I was looking at it and it's like, to be fair, they don't say they're gonna fucking season it with anything. It's just swordfish. So I got this piece of swordfish and it tastes just like fish. It didn't taste like anything else. And I'm like, what the fuck? And the lady says, oh, how's your meal? Is there anything I can get you? Some butter <laughs> or something. I just had this dry piece of fish on my plate. It was good. And she brought back some herb butter. Mmm, mmm, fancy, mmm, herb butter. And that shit was bomb. It made the fish 10 times better. But I don't know, you could put some lemon on it or some garlic or something, you know, just give me a piece of swordfish with nothing on it. It was a good cut. I enjoyed it. It was really good. But it was our anniversary this past weekend, so I took the weekend off and did some stuff with Hector. Um, and then Monday was our friend Kristen. She was in our skydiving vlog. It was her birthday, so that was another one of those things where it was like, okay, well, I could sit here and <laughs> record seven episodes of The Fit Lock and be way ahead, or it's my friend's birthday only happens once a year, I'm gonna go hang out with her. So, today's Tuesday, I'm back at it. I got a new episode of Fitlock ready for you guys to go later today. And I'm recording this Sword and Shield right now, so I can kinda jumpstart and get back to it, but I don't know, like, this time around making content, like, as much as I love saying, like, oh, episodes on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, this and that, yada yada yada, I really don't wanna feel like a factory. If that makes sense. Like, I don't want to just, I don't want my life to be deadlines. Oh my god, I, everything else must wait. I have to get this done. I have to get this video up. I have to do this. I have to do that. You know, that top five rock that we did this past week, I literally sat and edited that all fucking day. Like, I went and had an 8 a.m. haircut, and I got back at, like, 10, 10.30. I sat down to edit it. I didn't finish till, like, 9 p.m. that night. And I know that the only reason that video is an hour long, like, the last 30 minutes is the fucking mind tour because it was just to a point where I was just so exhausted so tired of staring at this fucking screen and doing this meticulous jump cut edits that I would just fuck it put it up there I mean I watched all of it and I think all of it's pretty fucking interesting but admittedly the third part doesn't or number one doesn't need to be an hour fucking long I mean 30 minutes long but it took a long time because that was just a long ass video in general hopefully every top five is not that Hopefully every top five is not that long, but uh, I know that like we did the skydiving vlog for top five flying We're gonna do a copper queen mine tour vlog because there's so much more even that number one entry had like 30 minutes on it But there's still like another 45 minutes worth of footage that I took from that mine tour They showed so much in all honesty that mine tour was dope as fuck when I went in there I was not intending for it to be number one on the countdown, but it did like, when I left, I was like, holy fuck, that was cool. That was fucking cool. Like, I went into the fucking earth. I went into a mine. That's dope. Anyways. This is the Tower of Darkness. You are not ready to climb this tower. Please leave this place. Okay, I'm sorry. I know, half of you guys watching right now love, like, talks and tangents like that. And the other half of you guys are just like, oh my god. You could go anywhere. You could do anything other than just standing there. And it's like, hey, bro, chill out. Chill. We're good. We're good. We're still moving. We still got progress. And it's not like we're racing. This is episode 60 fucking 3. Like, we really stressing over wasting time 63 episodes into it. <laughs> Six more. Oh, this is Brawler's Cave. Fuck that. I want the Challenge Road one. But I don't know. Hey, that Top 5 series, I fucking love Top 5. But I think it's going to have to turn into like an every two week series type of thing. It's like a television show. But you know, like, travel channel shows and shit like that, they record them motherfuckers like six months in advance. I thought of this idea like a month before you guys saw episode one. <laughs> <laughs> it 
And the issues that I'm running into, whoa, this ocean looks great. That's normally kind of a difficult thing, or in my opinion, I don't think you really see a whole lot of really good animated oceans in video games, but this looks great. This and Sea of Thieves, top two. Mm. <clears throat> um, but anyways, it's just, there's too many factors, and it's stressing me out. It's stressing me out so much, like, where's Hector when you need him? Hector would sit here and tell you guys, like, I'm losing my mind. What little hair I do have left is falling out of my goddamn head over this goddamn top five series. Are the Diglett hidden in the grass? They need to not be hidden in the fucking grass, because that's whack as fuck. should not be in the goddamn grass. Anyways, there's a Diglett over there. But it's like, there's so many complications because of COVID. There's so many things that I want to do that you just can't do because the person, <laughs> like, ah, oh, no, we're not doing that because of COVID. Okay. Like, you can't even really argue that, you know? If they're not doing it, they're not doing it. If nine times out of ten, it's law. You know, Arizona, we just had, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, a curfew until, like, December 23rd. We had a curfew. Everyone had to be inside by 10 p.m. <clears throat> Bars closed at 10 p.m. Everything closed at 10 p.m. because motherfuckers don't know how to wear, uh, wear a mask. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say about that. You know, it's simple. It's like a group project. Like, if everyone just does the work, we'll be done. You don't have to worry about shit. But everybody wants to procrastinate and put shit off and put shit off and not do the right thing. And now here we are stuck a year and a half later. You know what really blows my mind? Like, in all honesty, the way I feel about it is, yes, wear your mask. I don't care, wear your mask. If all we need to do to get past this is to wear your mask, wear your fucking mask. In all honesty, like, I don't care about complications or any of that shit that comes with it. Like, it's just, it's, it's like, let me put it to you like this. If this were a video game, right, and you saw one side was asking everyone to wear your mask, and then you had this, like, civil uprising where people weren't wearing a mask and this and that, man, like, you would just sit there and say, this is so stupid. Like, just put your mask on, be done with the virus, and move on with your life. And I know it's easier said than done, but what's even stupider is, like, look at the other side of the planet like Asian countries these motherfuckers have been done with this shit for months now we're still over here talking about ah oh, 2020 went so fast it went from spring to the new year well it's because nobody does what they're fucking supposed to do you know we could be done with this shit and move on with our lives look at what they do but either way it's it's cramping my style especially for my creativity in this top five series because there's so many things that I want to do can't do it's just closed um on top of that there are so many i guess this is really specific i should say this is very top five specific top five psychic types has given me such a migraine because half the people that i call are not interested in being recorded it's not because they don't feel comfortable on camera uh, it you can conjure up any guest that you'd like anyone from the field of psychics and divination and clairvoyancy or whatever they say oh I, I don't want any recording it interferes with the reading oh I don't want any recording because of this this and that I don't offer recording most of the psychics that offer recordings or the people involved in this they do their shit over zoom and they say oh yeah you can record that <laughs> well I'm not really trying to put up a fucking zoom video here dog like <laughs> I got Three of the four for top five psychic that I've wanted so far taken care of. The fifth one is still up in the air. Might not ever even happen. <laughs> but that's just because of the time that we're in. And the other aspect of this that's stressing me out, the, the issue that I'm coming uh, up on with top five, is that now to the point where it's like I could either do a whole bunch of little shit around town yeah give me all them big ones. either i can do a whole bunch of little shit around town that isn't really all that crazy isn't really all that impressive this and that or i could just take the extra day or so and do a little bit of traveling and go somewhere and do something crazy cool and dope and awesome so yeah top five is not gonna happen every single week 
as much as I want it to, as much as I would love for it to, I just, uh, like I said, I'm tired of deadlines. I'm tired of deadlines. I'm tired of being stressed. I'm tired of, you know, we're playing video games. This should be fun. It should be, I should look forward to sitting down and recording and making content every single day. It shouldn't be this, I don't, even, I don't know how the fuck you get over here. I'm gonna go to the right. It shouldn't be this hassle. <laughs> I hate the word hassle because hassle is not a hassle is not a problem. There's a difference. I'm gonna say that. It shouldn't be such a problem to sit down and do things. You know, hassles I don't mind. Hassles, I, I, that's fine. We can handle hassle. Problems are problems. I'm tired of them things too. <laughs> to be honest. But, anyways, I don't know how I got on that fucking tangent. We were talking about top five, we talked about COVID, we were talking about our anniversary. Yeah. Anniversary and uh, our friend's birthday just threw a monkey wrench and everything this weekend. I'm not trying to stress it. We here, we back, we playing, we doing the damn thing. Doing the damn thing, doing the damn thing. <laughs> 